Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome back to Death and Taxes and another day of being death. Yesterday we made some somewhat questionable decisions. We got a little bit reprimanded for killing three people when we were supposed to kill two yesterday. And uh, some of our decisions, like I said, may have sort of backfired a little bit that I didn't... They had some consequences I did not necessarily intend. What is this? Our coins. What do we get to see here? What is that noise? Let's see... Oh, we get to see what happened because of our debt, our choices yesterday. All survived in the plane crash due to skillful efforts of the pilot. See, we kept him alive. Local politician dies after getting hit by a car. Police have not yet ruled a, a deliberate hit. The most for gun owner, uh, too late in their change of heart. Oh, see, he died anyway. Or did I kill him? No, I don't think I killed him. I think I let him live. And he just died anyway. Dang it. Massive underworld uh, implosion, crime rates at a historical low after an abrupt criminal civil war. What the frick was that part? Was that because of the gun runner? I don't know if that was what caused that. All right. There's some things going on then. Beauty cream worker found shot in an alleyway. Police suspect a sale gone wrong. All right. So hers, her death wasn't really like, I don't know if that one really did anything. Uh, the weather's just delightful, is it not? A shame that the sun shines on too few people. Your unwarranted carnage has upset our delicate balance, which we must now figure out. Three humans have to die, any older humans have to die. So there's a 114-year-old guy that's definitely going to have to die then. Alright, time to handle your mishandle. Oh boy. Thanks, uh, fate. Shiny money. I guess I get to flip around my coins. <laughs> Alright, I look like little ants are coming out of it. I don't like that. So, Justice Isakuri is a retired man who's 114 years old. He doesn't look 114. He takes the greatest pleasure in listening to Wonders Bird songs every morning after waking up. They spend the most of the time at home as moving around has become burdensome, although it's still possible. They love vanilla ice cream and bananas. Look, Mr. Justice, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to die. Fate has ordered it because you're older anyway. Wait, hold on. Let's, before we do that, this guy is older too. Or he's old. Does it mean the oldest or does it mean like older people? So, let's see. Jesse is committed to writing the perfect sermon and are thus oblivious to the turmoil at home. Their, their spouse is fighting a substance abuse problem and their children are planning a party of mild debauchery. Uh, luckily, Jesse has found a new housekeeper with unorthodox but effective methods for keeping things under control. I am watching you. You should mark this profile to live. Fate. Oh, I guess this is a good reason to read these things because I definitely have to mark this one for him to live now because fate has demanded it. All right. Then we've got Mr. Nikolai Hillis. How many people are supposed to die today? Was it three? Was it supposed to be three? So Nikolai isn't going to work anymore uh, ever. And they really don't have to because once upon a time they stole a ton of money in a heist and hid the money and then all of their heist partners died due to more, mis more or less mysterious causes. So he's definitely going to die. Um, but we'll, we'll wait a little bit. Sefa is a door, 37 years old chemistry teacher. Sefa is an inspiration to all the students, although their school is poor. They do everything in their power to make the chemistry class as engaging as possible, using the available chemicals uh, for demonstrations rather creatively. Sefa smells of sulfur at all times. <laughs> That's a random thing to throw in there. Emile Bonuile, 46 years old, priest. Went to college at 19 to study religion for the lols. What the heck? Uh, when weighing career options after graduation, they decide to become a priest again for the lulls. Some argue their detachment gives the ability to give good, unbiased advice to troubled souls. So the old man is going to have to die. And then this guy is definitely going to die. Because I don't... He's, he's done some shady things. So this guy... I'm sorry, he's going to have to die. And then I had to leave that guy alive. So then that means you die as well. And then, I want to keep the teacher alive, but at the same time, the priest, though, the advice for the unbiased, for the troubled souls. I mean, if I leave, if I kill him, do we just get a bunch of criminals, more criminals running around? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to kill the chemistry teacher. I'm going to have to kill the chemistry teacher. That's how it's going to have to be. I'm going to have to kill the chemistry teacher. I hate that. I feel like there's less repercussions for her dying, though. Although the school could descend into turmoil, though, because of that. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Hopefully I didn't make the wrong choice. I would have rather kept her alive, actually. But, I mean, I feel like maybe there's going to be less for me keeping the priest alive. So, three people were supposed to die. 
I have killed three people. The older person has to die, so I did kill him as well. All right, fate. This, these are my choices for the day. Three people died. And I had to make that decision, and it was a little bit tough, actually. All right, fate. Did I make... Did I please you and your cat? Did I do something wrong? Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. Okay. The profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Okay. You even adhered to my little I did. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. I did, I saw that. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated group. What do you think I was just gonna kill people without reading the profiles? Is that what you thought? I mean I did make one mistake so far, but if you keep this up, you will get far. <gasps> you may be even promoted to a Middle management. Middle management? Imagine the possibility. I don't even know what that means. But okay, it's a promotion, so I get money, more money for that. Alright, cat. Mr. Paddington. Or Mrs. Quite Paddington. Tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, was it Paddington? It was Paddington, I think. I don't know if it was Miss or Mr. I can't remember. We got 300 more coins, so we can go down here and actually buy something if we want. I don't know if there's anything different in here. Um, How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? <laughs> what do you have? The resonator collects or collates accelerated electromagnetic waves, which travel through the aether and then blast them at you? Why would I want that? That sounds terrible. We've got unholy smokes clothing. Um, when expensive stuff, I don't know if I really want, the cactus is still here. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I really want any of these things, I'm sorry. They don't really serve a purpose. I want an eraser. You can give me an eraser so I can erase mistakes. I want that. I do. Alright. So we're just going to go to bed. We're going to end the day. You can't really do anything else right now. So another day at the office. This guy is still about to fall through the elevator shaft a little bit, but alright. For Grim. Good. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. Hope you're enjoying the routine. Good. You are paying attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent. Else mistakes may sneak into the workflow pipeline. Alright, so what be the news of what we did yesterday? World's oldest person finally shares their mortal coil at an incredible age of 114. So we killed the world's oldest person. I mean, that didn't. nothing really happened because of that, but... <gasps> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, boy. Case of the missing dogs, new sightings of the swamp leopard. Chemistry teacher dies with a self made vacuum distillation device explodes. Did it kill some students in the process? I don't know if it killed any students. Students start fundraising in memory of beloved teacher to finance proper chemistry. See, that was actually a good thing, though. Sort of. I mean, she died, but now the school's going to get better equipment. So maybe that was a good thing. See a what what social media platform planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Micro cell steam mechanics could unlock access to a brand new dimension and possibly destroy the world. All right, so nothing terribly bad happened because of our actions. See, I, I see, I saved the priest, so maybe that was a good thing. So two two humans have to die again, and uh, well, not again because that was it was three yesterday. But we have to spare anybody with a science background, even if they're a bad person, because of the other science teacher maybe. <clears throat> now Renee O'Shaughnessy, uh, teacher, 27 years old. Teaches languages and literary criticism to high schoolers an arv uh, arduous task. All things considered, they've an interest in education science with the aim to upgrade teaching methods of other teachers, as many of the old timers are not up to date with uh, modern approaches. So I feel like she has to live because she's got a science background, right? Is there. Oh, wait, no. This guy is a field researcher, so maybe he also might have to live. Or one of them. Uh, we've got Sierra Shimura. 38 years old project manager manages a big software development project at Jim Glamazon. Glamazon, okay. <laughs> Although they have zero idea of how software development works, her uncle, the CEO, sees a bright future ahead of them. We've got, let me put these down, throw them off to the side a little bit so I don't get confused. We've got Fiona Yao, 22 years old mathematician, sharp mind, and quick wit have served Fiona well. They are the math expert in a popular science show, Making Math Cool Again. And hoping no one notices their extensive tax fraud endeavors. Hmm. I noticed because I am death. I see all. Alright. Mr. Hayden B. Blackburn, 41 years old, field researcher in geology. He's a geologist. Why do half these people have a science background? Good lord. 
more than half. I'm sorry, it's like freaking three quarters or three. How many people are here? Six. So it's like four out of six or five out of six. Is it? No, it's four out of six because this guy's retired. And then we got the project manager because she's sort of science. She's on a science show. All right. Anyway. Geologists who is adamant in their belief that micro sail steam mechanics are totally doable, the dream of creating a micro scale model steam train by using his soon to be available uh, technology. This soon to be available technology. That was the thing that they were talking about might destroy the world, so maybe he might have to die. Um, Gregory Hale, 31 years old archaeologist, legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider, consensus has not been reached when it comes to the noted archaeologists for the past five years they've been digging up artifacts found around the Faradun region All right so he might be a tomb raider but i mean they'll make a video game about him right they'll make a game about him you know he'll take over from laura croft 75 years old lucas ward we don't have to kill the old person today lucas has lived a calm and content married life having raised three kids and helped raise seven grandkids yet they've never felt particularly happy up until the moment five years ago until they admitted and accepted their preferred sexual orientation. Their family was very supportive. I thought that was going to go somewhere else and I was about to be disappointed. I thought it was going to say like he was a child predator or something. But I mean, that's cool. Let him be who he is. No one has a problem with him. He's not going to die because of that. As a matter of fact, so let's see. Who am I going to kill? I have to kill two people. So I have to spare any humans. Oh, any. I have to spare any of them. So I just have to kill... I don't have a choice here. I have to kill the project manager and the old man. No. Why have you done this to me? Why have you done this to me, fate? This you're, you're making me make a really difficult choice. They, like, literally, I have to kill the project manager and the old man. I didn't want to kill him. But the rest of them have science backgrounds. Does it, by science background... Does it mean if they have science somewhere in the profile, or does it mean whether they actually... He's going to have to die. He's going to have to die. I don't want to kill him, but he, I'm following orders. Can I sacrifice my pay today? Because I Is that a thing I can do? Do I get fired if I make too many mistakes? Because I really didn't want to kill him. This guy, I mean, he's just kind of like a blissful guy. I mean, I don't, I don't exactly care about him dying, but he's going to have to die too. <coughs> All right, those two guys are going to have to die. I'm not exactly happy about this one. Everybody else gets to live, even this freaking guy. Although I would have killed him. He's the guy I would have probably killed. And then I maybe if I had to kill somebody else, it would have been this guy. But they have to live now because fate has demanded it. I'm going to I'm gonna do one of these just based off of how I feel for once. All right, you're already dead. I'm sorry. Uh, let me move this out of the way. This, this pro, I need to put these down so they don't get in the way. Go down there. All right, mathematician, you have to live as well. All right. And then we've got the teacher who also has to live. <sighs> that was a really tough one. Although technically it wasn't tough because we didn't really have a choice. But, I mean, the decisions are final, yes. I have done what fate has asked me to. All right. Did I do what pleased you? Are we making some balance here? Is that why I had to save the science people because I killed the other science person? Is that what's happening? What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Was my conduct not pleasing? Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. All right. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choice? Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. I still feel awful about every choice. That one. Perhaps that is for the best. It may keep you connected to the world. Holding off the indifferent. Mm. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? I'm not sure. Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. Am I alive, though? I've not seen what the tradition has wrought. I'm death, though. Control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much. This one. This one. True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. 
So are you saying that once I get up to middle management, I can make choices? Or if I take over your spot, then I can do things the way that I want to do them? Because if that's the case, then I might just have to, like, freaking kiss some butt on the way up here just to get up here. But I'm, I'm going to get here, and I'm going to make the choices that I feel are right. Because some of these choices I, I do not agree with. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategy. We know what we are doing. Sure you do. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Why haven't I seen any underage profiles? That sounds creepy. Um, what's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? Not really. I kind of want to ask this one. Like, is there like a child death system? What's the basis for the profiles? I, this one I kind of want to know more, but this is also an interesting question, but I'm going to do this one. Not at all. Oh, well, that didn't help. The humans can't actually affect anything. You don't sound too sure about that. Don't they all influence the world in many ways? The humans can't actually affect anything. Yep, not a thing. Is it predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. Well, that second part is true. Death is coming. The life-threatening <laughs> situations that bring them onto your desk. The result of their own deeds and decisions. Are you sure, though? Did you put them in these situations? Because you are fate, so technically you do control how they get into these situations too, right? Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. I feel like I should worry about it just because you told me not to. Anything else? I, I do. Oh, I still get to ask this one. Cool. Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Okay, good to know. That means I don't have to kill kids. <laughs> now I'm good. Oh, there was an animal question. Enlightening. I bid you a good night. I kind of would have liked to see if there's an animal department, like all dogs go to heaven, that type of deal. I have 300 more coins, what can I buy now? I got a decent bit of money now, you know, I should be able to buy something cool. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. That doesn't sound right at all. Uh, I got a fancy suit, bow tie edition, we've got, I can't buy that yet, I don't have enough. We've got a, a coin which usually makes up the largest portion of any be be buried treasure. I don't know what these really do. I guess they're just desk things you put on there. This suit would be nice. I mean, but I don't really need it. Uh, I feel like I'm saving this money for a specific item that I know is in here at some point, and I want it. I want the eraser. All right, but I'm going to bed. I'm ending the day. All right, and we're going to do one more day here. Is that fate down in someone else's office? I don't know. He's coming down from his white horse up there. All right, but let's see what fate has tasked us with today in the office read this how many cases do we have today a quarter for the day a total of six humans have to die at least two humans aged 35 or younger have to die any humans with a medical background have to die this is very serious we seem to be on the precipice of why would i kill the medical people then if we are on the precipice of dark times i may have warned you this job can have some harsh requirements or harsh moments today is that day all right, historians warn artifact looting on the rise, especially in form. See, this dude is causing problems. We have to do something about the looting that's re escalated in the conflict. Higher educational standards help bring peaceful solutions to simmering conflicts. Small town prodigy moves to the city. Scientists are very close to figuring out how to counter a dangerous pathogen. Latest research several local gambling dens run by radical criminal organizations. Wallpapers are the fashion of the now. Get wallpapers now or be lame. No one said that ever. Wallpaper is terrible. Um, no one likes wallpaper. So we got Nadir Scarland is the embodiment of a ruthless politician, willing to do anything to gain and maintain power, be it treachery, deception, even murder. They're willing to manipulate and destroy even those they consider friends. So six people have to die. There's a total of one, two, three, four, seven, eight profiles. So, but I also have to kill two people 35 or younger and anyone with a medical background so i have to keep that in mind so maybe this guy might get to live just because of fate's stupid rules all right tain reed tain farms 
he's an aqua farmer. He farms aquatic plants, mostly, let's see, mostly various species of microalgae. Never really been all that interested in fish. Uh, preferring to keep their attention on seaweed. Seaweed has many talents and uses after all. Okay, so two people age 35 or younger. So how many people do we have 35 or younger? Oh, a couple. So we got some choices here then. But this guy's a cultist. <laughs> this guy's a cultist. Who's the person with the medical background? Would it be this? Oh, the, the immunologist. So 48 years old. There's a po there's a lot of bad people in here. Seemingly, uh, started a John Millibrand, 28 years old cultist, started a following a prominent lifestyle guru on social media a few years ago. But began as an innocent interest in wall painting, soon transformed into an unwavering insistence that wallpaper is the only acceptable wall cover. Okay, he doesn't. When it said cultist, I was thinking something worse. So maybe he might get to live. Um, we got uh, Merle Ursa, game designer. Merle has been uh, trying to make the greatest game for a while now to find inspiration and they love traveling. They attend a diverse range of gaming events, conventions, and conferences. It's really just a specific type of tourism. Also enjoys marathon running, 32 years old. All right. Then we've got, uh, I can't pronounce that, Quinn, Zaquin de Almeida, 26 years old nurse. So he's automatically going to have to die, isn't he? Well, no. It, what is it? Did it say anyone or one person? I can't. I can't see this again. I think it said anyone. At least two humans. Any humans with a medical background have to die. So we're gonna go ahead and mark these guys already because we know they're gonna have to die anyway. I feel bad that he's gonna have to die. T works at the Cosmopolis Center of Biomedicine Research Hospital in addition to the patient healthcare. Also analyzes many rare and dangerous toxins and substances in their high security wing. Also a fan of gambling and have lately accrued many debts. I feel like this would be one of those choices like that, like with a gun runner, where if I saved him anyway, he probably was going to die anyway. He was going to get caught in a deal going bad. So that might be a thing there. Put my marker down. But uh, I know this person's going to have to die as well. For the past 15 years, Ye has spent every day working in a windowless concrete bunker testing. Very Why am I killing these people? What? what why am I? They feel, I feel like they're doing good services and I'm having, I'm being forced to kill them. <sighs> My goodness, I'm gonna start, like I said, I'm gonna start making these decisions based on myself. I will sacrifice my pay one of these days. Maybe, I, I see, I kinda wanna get promoted first. See, that's the, that's the dilemma here. Cause I feel like if I get promoted, then I can make the rules and I can be fate. So I feel like I have to do this or else I get punished and then I never make my way up there to make the real decisions. So, all right, so two people out of our six have already been killed off cause I can't erase my things. So she's devoted, Annabelle Tells, 20 years old. They devoted themselves to becoming either an astrophysicist or an astronaut. The two things are somewhat related. They also enjoy painting, mostly nudes. Uh, okay. Computer programming and volleyball. So that's not a medical background, so you get to live, technically. Um, even though you paint nudes, there's, I mean, I can't kill you for that. Is a gifted hunter who has recently found a way to make a decent living with his skill. Or with this skill. I was going to say his. That's definitely a lady. Amy Moore and Posh, 35 years old. They hunt the elusive mountain cats for their fangs, which are thought to be a cure to a multitude of health problems. Now, we got two people on, on their deathbeds right now, so I'm just going to separate these a little bit. Um, we got to kill two people that are 35 years or younger. So, 35 or younger. So, I think I'm going to kill the poacher because just poaching, but I mean... I can't, I have to kill, wait, does, if I killed these two, does that mean that I already fulfilled the requirement of 35 and younger? I mean, because technically, Yaquin is 26, so does that mean I get to kill anybody else that I want? Or do I have to kill another person that's 35 or younger? That is the question. I mean, but six people do have to die, so I have to choose the two people that I want to leave alive. And I feel like it's gonna be, man. The cultist? <laughs> I don't I don't know what purpose he serves. I mean, I feel like she's just a happy girl, you know, she's not doing anything wrong. She's a game designer. I feel like she's not doing anything wrong. I mean, this guy's an aqua farmer, he's not really doing anything wrong either, but I want I think I wanna save these two. I think these are the two I'm gonna let live, and then everyone else is gonna die. And then I'll still even if the requirement does require me to kill another person thirty five, this guy's gonna die for their sake just because all right so he's gone now 
the politician I definitely wanted, or the state official I definitely wanted to die anyway, so he's gone. All right, and then the aqua farmer. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to meet your demise as well. All right, so we now have two people left. You're going to live. Please don't make me regret this with your nude paintings. <laughs> and I hope that you design the greatest game of all time. All right, that is from me, AKA death. All right, cool. So six people have died now or will die. I think we've completed all of our requirements. All right, so we're gonna fax those over to fate. All right, that one was a little bit more difficult to deal with. I didn't, if I didn't have to kill six people, I wouldn't have, but we'll see what fate decides about this. Then we'll call it a day. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. I'm doing what I must, even though I don't like it. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? Bad. I did what I had to do doesn't mean I like it. Exactly. You and I are on the same page. We all do what is necessary. Even if it makes us suffer. But is it really necessary, though? Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Don't you know what happened? You're in charge, after all. Some sort of medical calamity, maybe, like an epidemic? That one. I'd probably feel like that's gonna happen. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Yeah, I killed a bunch of medical people. I would assume that everyone's gonna get sick now. Off you go now. Why did you want this to happen, though? Why could I not have saved those people? I feel like we we killed the science background people earlier. I mean, I feel like we should have left the medical people. I don't get to make these choices, though, apparently. So I'm going to end the day. And I'm going to end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.